Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Tuesday, October 29th, 9 p.m. Mountain Time, 2024. A sun-diving comet triggers coronal mass ejections on the sun. It's electric, folks, and we've got heavy snow in the west. Keep calm. It's boom time. Severe weather threatens Halloween plans for over 30 million in the U.S. A multi-day severe weather threat kicks off this week, heading into Halloween, bringing with it the potential for damaging winds, hail, and severe thunderstorms. Severe storms are headed to the central U.S. indeed, as well as an uptick in the threats for tornadoes and hail possible Wednesday. The tornado threat increases in the plains as well as a cold front will bring the threat of tornadoes and damaging winds to parts of the central plains, Midwest and South through Halloween. The worst of the weather will strike during the evening, but we'll time it out here. So go check out that video as we take a look at the full forecast. Moderate to heavy snow in the Rockies, critical fire weather concerns in the central U.S. Moderate to heavy snow is expected in southern Alaska and over parts of the northern central Rockies and higher elevations in the eastern Great Basin. Dry and windy conditions may produce elevated to critical fire weather condition in, in portions of the central high plains and the Midwest, much of the central and eastern U.S. can expect record warm high temperatures through Thursday. And here you can see those warm temperatures today in the east and the south, but that's going to get slowly pushed away by a front here over the next few days. Here's Wednesday, Thursday, and it will be looking more normal by Friday. Take a look at that. Cold temperatures are plunging down into the southeast. Let's take a look at the MLS frozen and precipitation, and we'll see some of the systems moving through here. Heavy snow now dumping down in almost all of Wyoming. That will continue overnight uh, and dissipate by the morning. As the, another system, take a look at this front developing from that same system here Wednesday into Thursday and moving its way across the country. A quick look at total snowfall, and we'll get a better picture of what's going to be falling on the ground. Here is your Wednesday through Thursday morning. There are those snow totals in Wyoming, pretty epic. There will be pretty good snow totals as well for the Colorado Rockies all the way down into New Mexico. Let's move this baby through Thursday into Friday. You can see snow moving down into the Cascades, into the Sierras, as well as a, some snow here Thursday into Friday morning through Sadain Soda, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. Let's move it through Friday into Saturday morning. More snow for the West. Heavy totals coming in for Oregon there. Uh, and as the weekend progresses through Sunday into Monday morning, much of the Rocky Mountains and west of the Divide, all the high elevations will be picking, picking up the global warming goodness. If we move the models through system after system, literally bury the west in the middle of fall. Shut up, Al! Get in your hole! Al Gore is not pleased. He's also a little pissed off about our new merch. We've actually got him pictured here on some of our merch in a glacier and on the back of the shirt it says shut up al get in your hole what a great design get the merch now all the links will be below seismic update well interesting interestingly enough the most recent quake here is a rumbler in california just moments ago 3.2 in windsor overall low level activity worldwide worldwide volcano news update Ibu Volcano, 7,000-foot blast, kicks off the list. We've got Sabancaya on there. Suanos Hima to 6,000-foot today. Santa Guito, 14,000-foot puff. Popo continues its assault today. 28,000-foot puff early, and take a look. Volcanic tremor remains high, accompanied by increased ash emissions. And that, that ash is making its way all the way to Florida. Fuego, Volcanic Ash Advisory, 15,000-foot uh Niyata Muda Gira volcano in Africa, ongoing feeble eruption continues. That's coming to a close. Dukono to eight, Liwatobi to seven, Ibu to seven, 
Now you're going to ongoing feeble eruption. <laughs> Nevado de Ruiz, 21,000 foot blast, Sabancay to 23, Santa Guito to 14, Popo to 28, Fuego to 15, Suarezima on the list, read it all, click the links below. Ducono to 8, Liwa Toby coming in as well, looks like a sick 8,000 foot blast there, Samaru, who knew, now you do, 14,000 foot puff, holy macaroni. A quick look over at space weather for the 29th. Uh, multiple sunspots on the, the disk there. Earth facing, very low level flaring means nothing is coming our way. The geomagnetic storm that was forecast was a fizzle as we do have some geomagnetic activity, a large prominence ejecting from the limb. This is not going to be in any way geo effective, but a beautiful sight nonetheless. And it has been modeled on Iswa here. We can see it blasting off the side of the sun. Maybe a potential for a minor glancing blow, but the way the models have been going lately, I doubt it. And here we see the beautiful view of that sun diving comet over the last several days making its way to the sun. And as soon as it disappears, we get boom and boom. That is the sun discharging due to the nature of this incoming object. And what happens then? Well, it goes quiet. Now, I don't know if you've heard, but there are plans to deorbit the Inter International Space Station and plans to trash the space station preview a bigger problem. A special spacecraft will guide the space station through Earth's atmosphere but what about the large pieces of debris? And guess who uh, is going to be piloting that special spacecraft? Yeah, not NASA and definitely not Boeing. If you're hanging out near the Pacific Ocean's Point Nemo, the spot on the planet's furthest from land at the right time in 2031, you're going to get a good show. And the ocean will get a new permanent resident, the International Space Station or the ISS. That's when the station's life will officially end and it will come screaming through the atmosphere, burning up, but not all of it. And pieces will be slamming into the Pacific. Never again to host astronauts or microgravity experiments or tension with mission control. That crash is going to be aided by a SpaceX-built vehicle, thank you, Elon Musk, that will propel the ISS safely seaward with the aim of ensuring that its debris do not hit anyone or anything on the way down. How secure are you in this actually happening? Well, the good news, it's still seven years out. How has the sun's energy changed over the last 45 years? Well, please don't trust the IPCC or the mainstream media to tell you the truth, but you can always get the truth here at Siri Science. This is Willie Soong's uh, scientific group, and they are doing some of the greatest science the Earth has seen in the last few decades. Hundreds of papers coming out over the last few years, and to condense it all for you, well, here's one of the papers coming out today. Multiple new updated satellite total solar irradiance composites to bring you up to speed on what's actually happening on the Earth. And if you can't digest scientific papers, you can always watch the video, which just came up 55 seconds ago here on Siri Science. Subscribe to the channel, please. They only have 3,000 subscribers. Can we get this to 5,000 tonight? Please, that's the challenge. And read the article at least, and maybe peruse the paper. Willie Soon would be happy and tell them Oppenheimer Ranch sent you. Now, a new headline all over the lamestream media, more than a third of all tree species at the risk of extinction, according to a new global assessment. We're going to link you the full PDF, 67 pages below, Forests Under Fire, Tracking Progress on the 2030 Forest Goals. This is nothing more than 67 pages of the United Nations propaganda, period. 
Now, the premise of this propaganda piece is climate change, obviously, but they do also acknowledge, which is good, uh, that nature loss and climate change are the most pressing challenges. Nature loss? I'll tell you what that's called. It's called deforestation. It's called pollution, not CO2, toxic chemicals killing our forests, our waterways, polluting our water, and us chopping down the rainforest to make palm oil so that everyone can get fat and become diabetic. That is the world we live in. It is a multinational corporation machine of corrupt corporations killing us and paying for reports like this that blame you, not them. It's absolute garbage. We are cutting down the forests. We are polluting the waterways that contain the most important ecosystem we have. Yes. And it's insane. They're blaming it on us driving SUVs, not them. And that's a boom to knowledge. Please share this video. We are shadow ban. We need your help to grow. Become a Patreon. Support the work we do. Check out the new merch. Where is that link? It was pretty awesome. I think I lost it. Yeah, well. It will be linked below. Oh, there it is. Al Gore and a glacier. And that is a boom. We love you. Be safe.